Hey guys, welcome to day 11 of my 30 days of hustle challenge. I'm April Schluter and I have committed to 30 minutes of writing per day for 30 days. I just finished that my little 30 minute segment of writing and today's theme is talking about creating an if then statement based off of the triggers that I identified in my video yesterday. So in the spirit of trying to keep this video short, I'm going to just talk about one of them, but I did create statements for all three. The reason that we're doing this is to create a habit around the things that are going to derail us and prevent us from moving forward. So I like the strategy. I think I, you know, do this already, but um, it's a great way to kind of get ahead of the game so that you don't get stuck in this mishmash of blah. So, um, one of the things that I said was a, um, trigger for me yesterday was being tired and stressed. And if I get to that point where I'm tired and stressed, I totally slow down. And so in order to combat that, what I do is then take a look at my calendar and make sure that I have little, um, plugs of time where I'm taking breaks. Um, I'm always operating on a gazillion cylinders and it's not easy for me to schedule in breaks, but sometimes I just have to do it because um, I can't tell myself to. So it's almost like planning to not have a plan. So if I'm tired and stressed, then I need to make a plan to not have a plan. And um, I do random things with that time, right? Like this morning I had a super busy day, but I started my day with a massage. So I feel great and I actually got a really great night's sleep last night so I am totally super productive today and getting stuff done so that is an example of an if-then statement and I am looking forward to going and doing more work now so um, have a great day and I'll see you in day 12